Very good morning, dear students. Dear children, in fourth standard, we have completed ten chapters. Now it is the eleventh chapter. The name of the chapter is time. Dear students, here you are going to learn how to read exact time, how to read and write the time. What is mean by a.m. What is mean by p.m. There will be two types of clocks. One is twelve hours, and the second one is twenty-four hours clock. Conversion of twelve hours into twenty-four hours, and twenty-four hours into twelve hours. Then months of year. Then what is mean by leap year? These are all the learning points you are going to learn in this chapter. It's very important because for every time you need to see the. you need to check the time so if you don't know how to read the time it is quite difficult to what is the exact time to inform to others so that dear children you be concentrate on this chapter generally in our surroundings in your house schools offices or in any way we are using clocks in clocks there will be two types dear children the first is the clocks which show only 12 hours 12 hour clock and the second one is 24 hour clock usually our in our homes houses schools we are using 12 hour clock whereas in railway stations bus stands so there the people use 24 hours clock here in 12 hour clock there will be three hands in the clock one is the second hand the second hand is always rotating continuously rotating whereas minute hand the larger hand is minute hand the next very shorter and thin hand is it is it is the larger hand it is the shorter hand the larger hand is called as minute hand whereas the shorter hand is called as hour hand so this is hour hand and larger one and it is called as minute minute hand dear students so now it is very important to read the time am i correct yes here to read the time you should always keep it in your mind to write the time as well as read the time so if i am taking when the minute hand is at 12 when minute hand is at 12 minute hand is at 12 dear children observe here this is the minute hand if the minute hand is at 12 it means that it completes the hour on which the hour hand is there that is the hour if now it is on 3 the time is 3 o'clock time is 3 o'clock suppose if the hour hand is at 5 hour hand is at 5 the time is 5 o'clock you can write it 3 this is the hour it is the minute that means 3 o clock this is or 5 o clock when the minute hand is at 12 it completes the hour on which the hour hand that is the time you can read it when the minute hand is at 13 minute hand is at 6 Dear children, minute hand is at six. If the minute hand is at six, 
it's very important so each hour each hour is divided into 60 minutes so now the minute hand is at 36 and that means it is 30 minutes so the hour hand is in between any two numbers in between 3 and 4 means the time is 3 30 the time is 3 30 or it is half past half past 3 or the hour hand is in between 1 and 2 what is the time 1 30 or the time is half past half past 1 so in this way you can write the time when the minute hand is at 6 next when the minute hand is at 3 if minute hand is at 3 How to read the time when the minute hand is at three? Dear children, if the minute hand is at three, it is understood. It completes fifteen minutes. Or if we say if it is fifteen minutes, we can also say that it is quarter. What is the word used? Quarter. So the time the hour hand is in between twelve and One. So, what is the time? It is twelve fifteen or quarter past quarter past twelve. That means fifteen minutes completed twelve o'clock. So, one more example you take. The hour hand is in between ten and eleven. And the minute hand is at three. What is the time? It is ten fifteen. Ten fifteen or the time quarter past quarter past ten. So in this way, you can read the time when the minute hand is at three. Next, minute hand is at Minute hand is at nine. When the minute hand is at nine, how to read the time? Dear children, observe here. When the minute hand is at nine, it is understood the minutes from twelve to nine. The total number of minutes in one hour is sixty minutes. So that if the minute hand is at five, one five minutes. Then if it is at two, ten minutes. Three fifteen minutes. Four twenty minutes. Five twenty five minutes. Six thirty minutes. Seven thirty five minutes. Eight forty minutes and nine forty five minutes. So minute hand is at nine. Minute hand is at nine. And the time our hand is in between two and three. Our hand is in between two and three. What is the time? Two forty-five. Or in another words, also you can say that quarter two. Quarter two. Quarter means fifteen minutes remaining to complete three o'clock. Quarter two three. So I hope you understood. Quarter to three means fifteen minutes are there. The balance fifteen minutes to complete three o'clock. So that quarter to three. So one more example you can take. Now the hour hand is in between five and six. Five and six. It is the minute hand. It is the hour hand. Can you tell the time? It is five forty-five. Or Another way also you can say quarter to quarter to 
Don't say that it is quarter to five. It is quarter to six. Fifteen minutes are there to complete six o'clock, so that it is quarter to six. In this way, you say the time when the minutes hand is at twelve, three, six, and nine. Dear students, here in the first exercise part, you should read the time to the accurate minutes. To the accurate minutes, you are going to read the time. So before that, I would like to give one information to you. That is, for every hour, for one hour, how many minutes are there? That means sixty minutes. For one hour, there will be sixty minutes. Minute hand, it starts from. So generally, we say like this. So if the minute hand is at twelve, it completes the hour. So minute it start from twelve. From twelve to one, there will be five minutes. From twelve to ten, from twelve to two, ten minutes. Three, it is fifteen minutes. Twelve to four, twenty minutes. Twelve to five, twenty five minutes. Twelve to six, thirty. Twelve to seven, thirty five. Twelve to eight, it is forty minutes. Twelve to nine, forty five minutes. Twelve to ten, fifty minutes. And twelve to eleven, fifty five minutes. And twelve to again twelve, it is sixty minutes. If it completes sixty minutes, it means that it completes the hour. Next, we will proceed to the next hour. So like this. Now, dear children, directly I am proceeding to the my practice time. It is one. It is there in your textbook, page number one forty-seven. So here, write in two ways. They have given the time like this. They have given different. Clocks, yes. Write the time shown in the clocks to the exact minute and write in two ways. In both the ways, you should write the time. The first one is six twenty-three. Your twenty-three. The hour hand is at six twenty-three and minute hand is at twenty-three and hour hand is at Six, so it is six twenty-three. So in another way also you can write it. It is twenty-three minutes past six. Twenty-three minutes past six. The second one they have given the time at one one o'clock. So like this, dear yeah, children. Now I'm proceeding. Now I'm showing a model clock so that it should showing the time which is given in the textbook itself. So the time is like this. Observe the hour hand is at one and the minute hand is one two. That means it complete two minutes. One o'clock. It completed two minutes. You can write time like this. It is the second one B, and you can write two minutes. Two minutes past one o'clock. One o'clock. In both the way, you can write the answer. Now I am going proceeding to the. Third one. See, they have given two thirty-six. The time is they have given two thirty-six. Observe, dear children. Now the time it completed two hours. It completed two hours. The minute hand is in between seven and eight. If the minute hand is at seven. It complete thirty five. Thirty five 
then 36 so the time is 7 36 or the time is 36 minute past 7 36 minutes past 7 like this you can say the time next is draw the hands of the clock draw the hands of the clock to show the exact time yes now I'm proceeding to the second line draw the hands of the clock hands of the clock the first time is three minutes three minutes past three minutes two six b second one it is 23 minutes past 23 minutes minutes past four past means it completed two means remaining so first you need to draw the clock Dear children, in your notebook also, you draw the clock as shown now. So, 12, 6, 3, 9. So, 1, 2, 4, 5, 7, 8, 10, 11. Now, the 12 hour clock is ready. So, dear children, 3 minutes, 2 minutes, 3 minutes are remaining to complete 6 o'clock. So, the hour hand is in between 5 and 6. Almost equal to or it is exactly on 6. And the minute hand, the minute hand, 3 minutes to 6 o'clock means 3 minutes are remaining to complete 6 o'clock. So, that the time is 5, 5, 57. 557, 558, 559, 560. That means 3 minutes are remaining. The time is 557. The minute hand is at 57. Here on it, if the minute hand is on 11, it is 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60. So 57. Minute hand is at 57 so now we have drawn the time 557 next you come to the second one 23 minutes past 4 you can the time is 4 23 23 minutes past means 23 minutes completed 2 3 minutes 2 means this 2 indicates that it is remaining. Past indicate that it is completed. So again you draw the clock. 12, 6, 3, 9. 1, 2, 4, 5, 7, 8, 10, 11. Observe here children. 23. Look at here. It is 0, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55. It is 60 or 0 hour. So 20 and 25. 23 is in between 20 and 25. 21, 22. 23, 24, 25. This is 20. So, 4. The hover hand is at 4 and 5. So, 4. And minute hand is at 20, 21, 22, 23. So, so 4, 23. I hope you understood. The time is 4, 23. So like this, 
first you write the time and draw the hands of the clock dear children for your better understanding i am giving one more i am showing one more question okay it is 6 minutes to 12 see 6 minutes to 12 that means it is very simple 6 minutes are balanced to complete 12 o'clock that means 11 6 minutes balance with 55 54 11 55 54 So I hope you understood. Six minutes to complete twelve o'clock means fifty-four, fifty-five, fifty-six, fifty-seven, fifty-eight, fifty-nine, sixty. Six minutes are balancing to complete twelve o'clock. The time is exact time is eleven fifty-four. So now you draw the clock. Dear children, try to write it in the square shape. So all the faces, all the sides should be. equal then first you write choose the middle points of the sides 12 6 3 9 9 1 2 4 5 7 8 10 11 so 11 11 o'clock here and 54 The minutes is fifty four. Fifty four is in between fifty and fifty five. Fifty, fifty one, fifty two, fifty three, fifty four, fifty five. Okay. So it is almost our hand is almost equal to twelve. Our hand is almost on the twelve and. This is fifty five. This is fifty four. What is the time now? Eleven fifty four. In this way, you can draw the hands of the clock. So I hope you will finish the questions given in the first exercise part. Draw the hands of the clock and. Read carefully the time and write the time in two ways. I hope you understood, dear children. In every twelve-hour clock, each one hour is divided into sixty minutes. Each hour is divided into sixty minutes. Look at here. This is the model of clock. Here, twelve. From when the minute hand is at twelve, it completes the hour. If the minute hand is at one, it is understood. Minute hand is at one, it is understood. It is five minutes. Then two, it is ten minutes. Three, it is fifteen minutes. Four, it is twenty minutes. Five, it is twenty-five minutes. Six, thirty minutes. Seven, thirty-five minutes. Eight, it is. Forty minutes, nine forty-five minutes, ten fifty, and eleven fifty-five minutes. Again, when the minute hand comes to the twelve, then it is understood sixty minutes. Sixty minutes also called as it completes the hour. Okay, when the minute hand is at three, we say that quarter past. Minute hand is at three. Minute hand. At three, what we can say? It is quarter past. Quarter past. Quarter past. Fifteen minutes. I hope you understood. Then minute hand is at minute hand at six. When the minute hand is at six, it is quarter of past of. Pass. When the minute hand is at nine, minute hand at nine, it is quarter two. Quarter 
टू क्वार्टर टू द नेक्स्ट अवर डोंट गेट कंफ्यूज टू क्वार्टर पास्ट एंड क्वार्टर टू क्वार्टर टू मीन्स इट नीड्स टू कंप्लीट फिफ्टीन मिनिट्स क्वार्टर पास्ट मीन्स फिफ्टीन मिनिट्स ऑलरेडी कंप्लीटेड सो इन दिस मैनर यू कैन रीड द टाइम सो द वर्ल्ड पास्ट indicate that it is completed so the word has passed used as it has completed 23 minutes past 6 that means what is the time 623 quarter 2 or so 10 minutes to 11 10 minutes to 11 how to write the time is 10 minutes are remaining to complete 11 o'clock then the time is 10:50 so in this way you read and write the time dear students the next class i'm going to explain what is meant by am ante meridian and pm then i could explain the second exercise part if you are having any doubts in the regular classes we are going to explain to you thank you everyone have a nice day bye bye